This last one, Sean. Have you ever heard of prostateitis? I have now. <laughs> it's what Shane McMahon had, right? Uh, not quite. Diverticulitis is what he Close. had. Nigel, you ever heard of prostateitis? Uh, no. I mean... So apparently, apparently, it causes an itch, and the itch is um, up kind of in the, what do they call What do they call the area again between your ass and your balls? The asshole. Oh, the taint. The taint. Yeah. So apparently the itch is somewhere around that area, right? So it was reported by AsiaOne.com and by the Asia News Network on April 9th that a man from China who had prostateitis and he had this itch that he just could not get rid of, he decided to take a phone charging cable. It was a three foot long phone charging cable <laughs> and he shoved it up his dick. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> so he, what? So he shoved it up there. He was able to scratch the itch because he got it up there far enough. He was able to scratch the itch. Then when he was pulling it back out, Sean, there was a tangle in the in the cord somewhere around his bladder. And so when he was pulling it out, he caused an internal hemorrhage in himself. And he started to bleed, and he had to call uh, whatever the Chinese equivalent of 911 is, and he got rushed to the hospital. And apparently he will make a recovery. Let's break down the anatomy of a phone charger. Yep. I have one right here. Now, I don't know if he had necessarily an end on it like that. He might have cut it off or who knows. Okay, even then, mine's braided. This is practically fabric. I mean, they have other ones that are different. Like, if you look at, <laughs> if you look at my... This is common in phone chargers, this yeah, material. They're, they're thick. They're thicker than that. 